thing. Really important thing that I have to do is align this as precisely as I possibly can. I am going to try and just use the up and the right keys. If I have to use the down and left keys, then I'm going to lose accuracy. The reason for this is if I start using the right key and then the left key, the mount won't know where it is. The reason the mount doesn't know where it is if you start using both keys is because it knows when it's going right, it will go right, 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 right. But then when you tell it to go left, you press the key down, the left hand key, and then for a certain amount of time, it won't move because it's just the motors are turning left, but it's not actually moving because there's some slop in the gears. And it'll take a certain amount of time before the telescope picks up the slot in the gears and actually starts moving. Now the mount is not clever enough to know how much slop there is in the gears. So when you change direction, when you go from slewing right to slewing left, it loses accuracy. The same is true for up and down. So in order to avoid losing accuracy, I am going to try and just use the up and the right keys which can be impossible sometimes, but I'm gonna give myself the best chance I possibly can. First of all, I'm gonna choose my first star. Now I can use left and right to choose my first star, but as I'm lining up with my first star at the end, I'm just gonna use the up and the right key to get it in the very center of my screen. So just the up and right key from the last movements, okay? From then on, I only want the mount to move right and up. So the second star that I'm gonna choose is going to be to the right and higher than the first star. That way, the motors should just go right and up. Then, if I'm lucky, it will pull up just short and I'll just have to use the up and right keys to get it in position. Begin alignment. Yes, we're going to do it. Brightest star, no. We're going to do two star align. Enter. First star it's given me is Sirius. I had trouble yesterday with Sirius. She's there, she's low. I'm gonna go for Sirius, go. And she blows. Okay, Sirius is in the sights of the scope. Yep, Sirius is there. Take Sirius that way. Okay, there we go. My final movements have to be just with the up and right key. The keyboard goes opposite to the ways that's shown on the screen. So although it looks like I need to go down and left to get to the centre, I actually need to go up and right to get to the centre. Okay, here we go. So I must not overshoot. If I overshoot, I'm going to have to start again. Okay, let's turn the rate down to two. And across you go. Right, I'm directly above. So now down. I think it's in the middle. Enter. Second star, Deneb. Deneb's no good. Regulus is no good. Aliath the Deno. Doobie is the wrong way. Okay, no, Hamel might be good. Let's do it. Hamel. Okay, so now the mount is going to where it thinks Hamel is. It's looking like it's quite high. This is good and it's definitely right. Oh, it's a long way over. Ah, that must be Hamel. My second alignment star has popped up quite close to the centre of the screen, which means that the mount is nice and level. It's slightly overslewed too far. Right, so that's not good. Luckily, the rotation of the Earth is making the star drift in the right direction, so I don't need to use the down or left key. I'll bring it down. Oh, it's in about right place now. Now it's too far right, so I bet it's right, it should. It's just, you see, it's just drifted over, so I'm just using the up and the right key. Oh, it's gone a bit too far, but it's drifting back. Okay, that's it. I'm centering it, and alignment has been successful. Now we see little old Hamel there is now pretty much static. This is very, very good news. Click the link to get back to... Uh, what's it called? I forgot the name. Um... Deep Space Astrophotography from London for 150 quid. Phew, thought I forgot the name of it for a minute then. Okay, click the link. See you in a minute.